Uh, welcome to Whiskey to Kansas. I'm Montana. I'm Kyle Sadler. Travis Smith. And today we're going to be reviewing Jameson Stout Edition. This is finished in stout beer barrels. Caskmate series is the result of a collaboration with our neighbors at 8D Brewing. They borrow our cask to age their fine Irish stout, and we then finish our signature whiskey in these stout seasoned oak barrels. The result? The classic smoothness of Jameson with notes of coffee, chocolate, and butterscotch. So, let's dive in. Yeah. New to the whole Irish whiskey. Yeah. Irish whiskey is pretty good. Pass that over here. Yeah. Spread the wealth. Yeah, just a cap for it. Uh, I don't know you guys' uh, history with Jameson. You know, uh, mostly mine is Irish car bombs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time I've ever had it. Actually. So this this will be a good change of pace. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Jameson, obviously an Irish whiskey. It's made at the Middleton Distillery, where a lot of Irish whiskeys are. It's half malted barley. Uh, it's triple distilled. It's it's a blend, technically, so there's a few grains in it. Uh, this is coming in at 80 proof, so light. Smells sweet. Oh, yeah. Really sweet. Oh, yeah. What are you getting there on that nose, Travis? Uh, like a burnt sugar. Burnt sugar, yeah. Caramel. Ca caramel, caramel. Yeah. Chocolatey. Yeah. I think that, I mean, obviously, the stout's going to have some influence. If you guys drink stouts, chocolate, to coffee, those typical flavors. Not a huge stout guy, but yeah. I've tried them. Yeah, you get the coffee, chocolate. You can just take this and put Bailey's, and you already have a car bomb. Basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Short yeah. cut. Yeah, that would definitely get you there. That is, that is good. Oh, yeah. It's about as smooth as it gets. Yeah, I don't see it getting a lot. You know, what I really like about it is the texture of it. It's a real... It, just like, ro it rolls. Yeah, velvety kind of. Yeah. yeah. You almost expect there to be a burn at the end of it, and it just is not there. No, no like, not at the all. The way it smells, yeah. you would expect a burn. And yeah, you get eaten all on the nose, but not yeah. on the palate at all. No, that's no. very good. Yeah. It's I, sweet, but not like bourbon sweet. Yeah. I'd say I'd say you're right. And that's the I think the influence of the stout. You get a lot of the chocolatey yeah. stuff out of it. Thirty dollar bottle at Kroger down there. That's fantastic. That's a yeah. great price for that. Well, that's something I like to talk to people about is it doesn't have to be a hundred dollar bottle, an eighty dollar bottle for it to be a good whiskey. Mm. Or if it's hard to find. No, there's a bunch of it out right really? now. Yeah. Uh, at the Kroger here in town, I think I saw 20 bottles of it. Really? They got an IPA one too. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do That'll that later. Next. Yeah. You just think that when you're going to drink it, that it's going to burn as soon as it, but it just waiting. It never shows up. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice, yeah, nice yeah. little Irish rose. Yeah, it doesn't have that. What is that? That bourbon hug. The Kentucky <laughs> hug. Kentucky <laughs> hug. It no. does not have that. No, the I Irish don't have that. Uh. I get a lot of vanilla to me on the flavor. I know they mention like chocolate and stuff, but I get vanilla. If you take mm. a big enough swig, you get straight chocolate on the end of it. Mm. Let me try that. That's what I get at the end if you drink a bunch is it, you have yeah. chocolate right yeah. at the end. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I don't really get any coffee, but I don't drink coffee. So I don't look for the coffee flavors like you guys do. It's It's got some coffee, but... But I get the, more of the chocolate. It, like I said, at the end, the chocolate's kind of, if you, if you drink enough in a sip, then your chocolate's more overwhelming. Yeah. I think, and it's like a, I wouldn't say like a milk chocolate, like Hershey's kind no. of chocolate. No, it tastes like dark chocolate. Yeah. yeah. More more cacao in it. Really good. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I would recommend this to. Absolutely. For $30 a yeah. bottle. That's a great buy. Well, not just that. I, I would recommend this to someone that's switching from bourbon to trying to broaden their horizons to other whiskeys. This is a good stepping stone. Well, like I said, this is my first Irish whiskey, and if this is what they're going to taste like, then uh, bourbon's got some competition. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say, for me, it's bourbon and then Irish whiskey's next. 
Canadian's bottom for me. <laughs> oh, obviously. Wow. Yeah. Crown, man. Crown's trash to me. <laughs> That's why they got 42 different flavors, because they got to try to offset how bad they are. Yeah, so. <laughs> got to keep adding fruit to it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what so if, they're just looking for that one. If you, you know got to flavor it, it ain't good. Yeah, you well, peach crown, though. It's like steak. If you got to put sauce on it, it's not good steak. That's right. That's exactly so. right. Yeah. Steak should speak for itself. Yeah. Everybody here has went to the same restaurant. Everybody here knows what restaurant I'm talking about. Yeah. If you put a one on that steak, you should not be allowed in the restaurant. No. You you're talking about the local gym? <laughs> I'm talking about yeah. I mean it's wow. Don't waste it. Don't yeah. waste a steak by putting something on it that don't need to be on there. No, I, I agree. Well, just cook your own from, you know, your local grocery. Put A1 on it. It's yeah. Gonna... Go ahead and waste your money that way. Yeah, you put enough sauce on it, it's going to taste the same. You're ruining <laughs> it. I, I do like A1 on chicken sandwiches. Yeah. I like the flavor of A1. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's tangy. It's, it's got stuff going on. But it'll ruin a good steak. But it's too powerful. Yeah. Of a flavor. I don't like A1 at all. Really? You ever had on chicken sandwich? I don't like it at all. Man, I chicken, like the, uh, chicken bacon cheddar with... Mm, Heinz 57. Mm. Oh, okay. I get ketchup. it. Ketchup. I like it. Anything <laughs> with ketchup. Ketchup makes it. I mean, it's kind of yeah. a sweetness. 